Hello everyone and welcome to our channel and today I'll be reading a multi-character questionnaire by me. So let's get into it. Tangan. Tangan loves to spoil you and most of all, he loves to coddle you and give you all the love that he has. Especially when he hasn't been seeing you for a while. So as soon as he sees you and gets home, he wraps his arms around you and picks you up. You blush, melting into his hold. Tengen, what are you doing? You ask, but it's very clear you're not upset with him or even slightly mad. Because you let him take you and set you down on his lap. And then, he pulled you into a kiss. A soft, gentle one. I miss you, Ion. Well, it's very clear that you do. I'd be worried if it was anything else. You say jokingly. And he grins, pulling you into one more kiss. He's so affectionate and so sweet for the rest of the day. And you can't help but take advantage of it, sticking to him like glue as long as he will have you. It was a free day. Neither of you had anything to do but spend the rest of the day together. Obanai? Now, Obanai was shy about most things. But sometimes he was really affectionate. And today was one of those days where it felt like he just needed you in his arms. So he patted his lap and told you to come sit. And of course, you sat down, leaning in to give him a soft kiss on the cheek. What is it, Albanai? You ask him, gentle as he stroke his hair. He melts into it, closing his eyes. Well, there isn't much, but I just feel like I miss you, Ion. Is that so? You say, looking at him, and you can't deduce much from his expression except the fact that maybe what he's saying is absolutely true. So you lean in, giving him one more soft kiss. Well, is there anything I can do to fix that? He holds you tighter. Pulling you against him. There is. Just cuddle with me. And stay there. And of course, you can't deny him such a simple request. And a very humble one at that. So, you will do this. Even if it means just being trapped in his arms for a couple hours. Rengaku. Now, Rengaku was very affectionate. But... Some days he just wanted to hold you and appreciate you for all that you are. And that's why, as you're browsing through a shelf for something, and then he picks you up out of nowhere. Rengaku, what are you doing? Let me down, you say. Petty only laughs and sits down on the couch, gently putting you all down on his lap. Well, I just want to appreciate you. Can't I do that, my dear? He asks, and you're sure he's not actually asking, but just mocking you, as he leans in to give you a soft kiss on the forehead. You let out a soft sigh, hitting him lightly on the shoulder, while he chuckles and hugs you close. And you can't help it. You melt in his arms, hugging him right back, telling you that at the very least next time, he could at least tell you to come sit down and cuddle with him instead of acting like a kidnapper and carrying you all the way to the couch. And he says he will think about it. You're not sure what that means. Muichiro. Muichiro is very, very sweet. But most of all, he's everything that you could ever want. And even if he's shy sometimes... He loves to spoil you when you can, and when he feels brave and up to it. And today, he felt very brave. So, as you sat down on the couch, he scooted closer to you and wrapped his arms around your waist, pulling you onto his lap. You blushed, wrapping your arms around him. What's going on, Michiro? You're not being your usual self, you say gently, and he nods. Leaning in to kiss you. No, I'm not. But I miss you. He says gently. 
So, can we stay like this? Please. And you can't refuse a request like that. So, of course, you find yourself nodding, leaning in to give him a gentle kiss. I'm sure we can. Besides, I could never say no to you. Not when you're being so adorable like that. And he's very glad. Even if the compliment does make him blush. Gyu. Well, Gyu wasn't usually affectionate and he was very shy when he was. So, if he makes you sit down on his lap, it means to appreciate it and say nothing about it. So, of course, you don't comment about how abnormal that is. And how much you love him. How you really wanted this for a while. And how he's so utterly cute for being as shy as he is. Instead, you let things happen. You cuddle close to him, burying your face into his shoulder and letting him stroke your hair gently. No words are exchanged between the two of you. You don't need them. But sometimes, you just need to be this close. To be in each other's arms and to appreciate the other's presence. That was all you needed now, and that was certainly what Gyu needed as well. Sadami. Hey, Wayan, come over here, he says, and you're curious why he calls you, because he almost never does ask for help or ask for anything, really. But usually it's just to tease you sometimes, so you go over to him, Crossing your arms. What? Sit down on my lap, he says. And you blush, because you never hear him being so upfront with what he wants. Especially when it comes to affection. You want me to do what? What I said, he says again. Blushing, because he's really not going to spell it out one more time. That was already one time too much. So, after seeing the blush on his face, you can't help but giggle and sit down in his lap anyway. And that's when he cups your face in his hands, pulling you in for a kiss, a deep one, and all thoughts and words that only are gone from your mind. Maybe you got too cocky at the start, and that's why he was getting his revenge now. Honestly, you certainly deserved what you were getting for teasing him. But even then, you can't help but admit that you wanted this for a long time, and you were more than glad that he was the one giving it to you.